To right now, live via Zoom is Alabama Secretary of State John Merrill. Secretary Merrill, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Pat. Great to be with you all. You bet. Well, for those concerned about coronavirus and they want to vote absentee instead of in person, the application that I noticed online doesn't have a box specifically about the pandemic. You do have some instructions in another part of your site. What box should the people check there? Well, they need to check the box that they feel the most comfortable checking. And the one that we've designated according to Title 17-11-3 that gives me the authority to assign a reason for people to vote absentee is the one that says, I am ill or infirm and will be unable to appear at my polling site on election day. That will qualify any voter to vote absentee on July 14th. And you clearly have that. I know you have that outline, that specific box on your website. So far, Mr. Secretary, what's been the response as people have been applying for absentee ballots? Well, we've had a higher participation level than usual for a runoff. We anticipate that more voters will continue to submit their application over the next 29 days that they are available until July the 9th. And they have to be returned, of course, no later than July the 13th along with your valid photo ID, or if you send it by mail with a copy of your valid photo ID, it must be received by July 13th at your circuit clerk's office. Secretary Merrill, we know you were in our nation's capital last week talking to lawmakers up there. Can you kind of break it down for us what you guys have been doing here in Alabama to make sure that you guys are prepared when it comes to social distancing and uh, keeping everyone safe next month? Well, one of the things that we've tried to do is to make it easy for anyone that wants to go to one of our 1,980 polling sites across the state and vote in person, give them a heightened level of individual pride in knowing that if they go there, they're going to be safe and secure, protected in a healthy environment. So when they walk in, they'll see hand sanitizer everywhere that they can use. Uh, they also will see that their polling officials are wearing masks that we have provided non-latex gloves, sanitized wipes, and disinfectant spray that will be available. It also needs to be noted that whenever the elections process is over, that each polling site in the state will be returned to its pre-election condition as provided by a professional cleaning service. All of these resources have been made available to us, not by local officials, not through the state, but through the federal government, through the CARES Act, and we're using that in order to make sure that everybody feels safe, secure, and healthy when they go to vote. Secretary Merrill, nearby Georgia had their election yesterday. I'm going to read a headline here from one of the major newspapers. Complete meltdown there. Some voters had to wait in line for hours just to vote. There were some polls that had some issues with computers out there. How do you avoid what's happened there in nearby Georgia happening here in Alabama? Well, I know that Brad Raffensperger, their Secretary of State, is very disappointed in the way that the elections were viewed in Georgia yesterday. And we called to encourage him. We offered support as they were preparing uh, for their administration of their elections. But what we've done in Alabama is work with each one of our 67 probate judges that administer the election in the local area. And there's none finer than Judge Frank Barger in Madison County who make sure that everything is always prepared and that all the polling officials have been trained. We also have electronic poll books in Madison County that are used in order to help the voter expedite their check-in process, reducing the wait time some 60 to 75 percent in each polling site. That enables the voter to have a better experience so they don't have to go and wait in line and feel like they've wasted their time. We want everybody to have a good experience when they go to vote to be able to cast their ballot for the candidate of their choice. Hoping everybody uh, does the right thing, packing their patience that day as well, and fingers crossed that everything's going to work out just fine. Secretary of State John Merrill, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you all so much for having me as your guest. I look forward to seeing you in person next time. Hey, we do as well. Mm -hmm. It is 642 right now on your Wednesday morning.